wasn't a bad day for the first day of the 10th season. It was pretty nice outside. It was a great yeah. day to go out there. You know, what's kind of interesting, we've got September 9th tomorrow, September 10th the day after that, September 10th, the most active day in hurricane history. Oh. That's right, but September 9th is very important here. Yeah, I know. It is the anniversary of Betsy. And so we'll take a look back, and I did post something on Margaret Orr WDSU on Facebook, but here is a look at Betsy. Winds were about 110 miles per hour. We had major flooding that took place. Algiers, uh, Chalmette, the Lower Nine. Many areas were flooded. People had to be rescued off of their rooftops. It was the first billion dollar storm. I remember it well. Well, let's look at what's happening this year. And the good news is so far, we've had eight storms. Four were hurricanes, one major. We are not through with this hurricane season. September 10th is the most active time. And at this point, no tropical cyclone. So that's good news. We can look at what's happening now, and there is a 60% chance for tropical development for this system that's now well off the coast of Africa. That's one we're going to watch, but the truth is it looks like it's gonna stay out in the Atlantic, and it does look like it's got the potential to develop. Here is a look at one that's off the leeward Islands 20% chance for tropical development, but the model's not picking up on it so much. This is the one we're watching. Looks like it could become Ian, but with high pressure to the east, it looks like it's going to make that turn to the north and the Atlantic and be a fish storm. What we have happening right now, high pressure is beginning to move a little bit more to the east. We're going to pick up more of a southerly flow with the moisture moving in. There's a cold front to the north. The one that we're watching, though, is to the northwest and it's going to get into the area as we go into late Saturday and Sunday. What's happening now is that we've got this upper level low that's offshore. Dry air is in place now, but as this upper low moves to the west, we're going to pick up some more moisture. And then remember, the cold front is pushing to the south too. So a little bit of a squeeze play, we're going to have a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain over the weekend. Here is a look at that forecast model showing the high pressure moving to the east. Uh, most of the moisture is just to the west, so the better chance of rain over northwest Louisiana. For tomorrow, a 20 percent chance. Then as you go into Saturday, look, here comes the cold front pushing to the south. Looks like things don't are going to cooperate at least for your football game. So that's good news. Then as we go into Sunday, I do see a higher chance of rain. So be aware of that. Meanwhile, a sunny day today. Raymond Price sent that in from Loyola at Jean Lafitte National Park. Alan Yvonne said it was just gorgeous and a beautiful sky here. This one is from De Soldier of fortune. Beautiful day from Anthony Pollard on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Here is a view over the metro from Christina Brown and Nola Spice Design says there's the moon and it's going to be full on the 16th. So high temperatures today were in the upper 80s to the low 90s. Right now it's pleasant upper 70s to the low 80s. A little bit of a breeze. I do think we're going to have some fog in the morning hours so keep that in mind. All right let's check out the four Forecast, 9 o'clock about 86, 3 in the afternoon 92, 20% chance of rain for your Friday and TGIF. Then as we go into the weekend, I've got that 30 to 40% chance of rain, the better chance on Sunday. High pressure moves off to the east. We got a good southerly flow going into the first of the week with about a 30% chance of rain. All right.